Okay, hello. We are going to look at the rectangular and uniform distribution today. And I first up need to apologize for the quality of my voice as I've not been well for a little bit, but I have put this off for as long as I can. I now need to just go ahead and do it, but um, you might get a few voice cracks from me. Okay, so this type of probability distribution is actually quite an oversimplified one and it's used for continuous data. Um, in real situations, it's actually pretty unuseful um, because it is so simple. But when we've got limited information, it might be something that you can use. So it requires a maximum and a minimum value and then an assumption that there's uniform probability throughout that range from the maximum uh, from the minimum up to the maximum so it creates this rectangle um, shape of distribution now since the area under our distributions always gives our probability then that total area has to make one now for it to be one the height of it must be one divided by the the, the base there b minus a so we get one over b minus a so an example of how this could be used, we've got a 10 meter tow rope. It's equally likely to snap anywhere along its length. Find the probability that it snaps somewhere in the middle two meters. So here's our picture. We've got a length from zero up to 10. The middle two meters would be from four to six. So we find the area of that space there. Now, if the base is 10, then the height must be one tenth so that the full rectangle makes one. So then the probability that x is between 4 and 6 will be the uh, length of that base times the height, so that is 2. Um, here we've got one that doesn't start at 0, so at a bus stop, the buses are equally likely to arrive between 1 and 5 minutes after the previous bus. When arriving at the bus stop, what is the likelihood you would need to wait at least 2 minutes? So if it's going from one to five, that's a base of four, so our height will be a quarter. And then the probability that x is greater than or equal to two, we've got this two upwards, so it'll be between two and five. So the base there is three. Three times a quarter makes 0 0.75. And that really is all there is to it. You could get asked questions like, um, what's the mean and the mode? Now, since this is uniform and symmetrical, um, they would be exactly in the middle. So you just would find the halfway point along your base. And I can't really think of anything more complicated that they could ask you about that. 